Greetings folks. This tutorial is all about pandas apply method which is pretty useful and common one in data preprocessing. So at first we are just going to import our necessary libraries, find then our dataset. Okay, you can see our data set. Now we are going to just start off by a simple one like div dot <coughs> location dot apply so before you apply this method what you have to do is just extract that pandas series on which you want to apply something okay fine now let's say I want to know the length of all of those strings location names so you have to just write len in the end. You don't have to write that parenthesis after this length function. Okay, let's see. Oh. You can also store it in a new variable like df. Lem. Now see our data frame. So this location name containing 19 words, a character, and this one is seven character. Fine. This is just a pretty simple one. You can do the same thing by what df dot location dot str dot lem length it will return the same thing so we, we wouldn't apply that method for that simple task basically apply method is pretty useful and common popular for passing a defined function or lambda function and we will see that now so let's say I want to create one new column based on this arsenic concentration. We want to write higher arsenic concentration is less than 10 is good for drinking water and higher concentration is um, greater than 10 but less than 50 we'll say that is not good actually poor quality water quality. And if concentration is greater than 50 milligram microgram per liter, then it's bad water quality, unsuitable for drinking. So how can I do that? For that, at first we are going to write define our function. Define our function, function name, let's say func. Okay, now here our column name, concentration, C O N. Fine. So if concentration is less than 50, sorry, 10, then what we will return is return what? Return good, good water quality. Fine. And if concentration is greater than 50, sorry, 10, and, and concentration is less than or equal to 50, then what? Then we would like to return, return what? And you can, um, just embed it inside a bracket for just readability. Okay. Return hard, return poor. Poor. Okay. And else, if concentration is greater than 50 milligram per microgram per liter, then else return hard which are unsuitable for drinking 
unsuitable. Okay, so let's see how can I pass this in this apply method. Now df dot arsenic in which column you want to apply this method with that column name here df dot arsenic dot apply apply what just the function name nothing else a f u n c okay let's see what it returns so you can say it successfully executed good now we can also store it in a new variable df what df water quality q now let's see how data from df dot it not it let's see how now you can say Arsenic concentration less than 10, so it's good. And it's more than 50, so it's unsuitable. So it's really good for data pre-processing and easy to perform and time saving. So now you can also do the same thing using just a lambda function. Okay, let's see how can we do that but to execute or pass this whole function in lambda function is a little tricky so at first we will try the simple one so what we have to do is we are copying this one okay let's see not apply what lambda function lambda now here is the expression you can write anything you want x y z we are just going to write concentration okay then colon fine so if our concentration is what less than 10 then what we will return is good so g double d so notice here i write at first if concentration is less than 10 then before that if statement i have written what i want to return so we are good okay fine now else else what else just write um poor okay so lambda functions are actually limited. You can't pass a leaf statement within lambda function, but you can do that by using some other, uh, just using a bracket. We'll see that in a minute. Let, let's at first try this one. So it worked. If concentration is less than 10, then poor, good, and else poor. But if you want to do the same thing we did above here that is a if statement this what you have to do is you have to write here you have to write here a bracket and within this bracket we will write let's just delete this poor if concentration is greater than 50 so 10 and and what and less than or equal to concentration is less than or equal to 50 then what do we have to we want to return we want to return it's poor okay and else what else else unsuitable unsuitable okay 
so you can see our lambda function is actually finished here we extended it by just using this parenthesis this bracket fine now let's execute it and store it in a new variable df um, lambda lambda now let's see if it's equivalent to the previous one what happened? Oh, another bracket. Fine. Now div. Now you can see over here that it's the same thing. Good, good, unsuitable, poor. Same thing, just within one line. So you don't have to write one defined function explicitly. Okay. Now we can do many more things like div dot hit. Let's say I want to scale this data. So what I want is I want to subtract mean from this data. Mean from all those data points. Okay. So that is the centering or scaling. So how can I do that using a lambda function? So, and this process will not occur on those string columns. So we have to drop them. So df dot drop <coughs> location. Location x is x is equal to 1 dot apply apply word lm lambda expression of x now what i want to subtract mean from this x x dot mean fine let's see what it turns out Fine. So it scaled our data pH 0, nil of them are 0, 0.0 something. But which are skewed highly, they are not very well performed. Okay. So quite simple one. Fine. Now the another thing I can do by this applied function, which is quite powerful one what you can do is at first i'm going to make some null values df dot replace replace what um for example i want to replace this 94 74 my nan values so giving a list 9474 I want to replace them by np dot nn fine and in place equal to okay. so we don't have to modify it again now you can see some nan values and I want to input those nan values replace those nan values by the mean of arsenic but not just mean I, we want to replace them by location based mean so you can you may have different means for different locations so how can i do that so that we can do that by lambda function on this apply method so df dot column name arsenic dot apply what we would like to apply is lambda also oh, div dot arsenic div dot group by arsenic shit div dot group by 
Group by what? Group by those locations. I want mean of arsenic by locations. So LOCA location. Then on which column I want the output? I want the output on just this arsenic column. Fine. Dot apply lambda x x of what now? So um, x of x dot filler. Okay, now so filler is also a method. So within this method, what we want is x dot mean or median. Fine. So let's see. Yes, quite successfully occurred. So you can see here our last four values are NAND values. So now last four, this is 22, this is 3334. So those are different because locations are different. The last one is different from these two. So last these two are belong same location name that's why they are mean is same so that's how you deal with this a bit complex problem by using this apply method so i think you find this video useful and you learned something new if you find this video helpful please subscribe and i hope i'll see you in the next video thank you